Um, you mentioned strike action. I don't need to tell you. I remind my listeners, of course, strike action starts today and then tomorrow the consultants could be joined by the junior doctors for the first time in the history of the NHS. This is a desperately depressing low for you as health secretary. What time are your meetings with the BMA or scheduled phone calls to try and avert this? Uh, well, we're not meeting on the issue of pay. We've been clear, the Prime Minister has been clear that uh, the government's position on pay so, uh, is so final. we're for on the, the eve of the worst day of industrial action the NHS has ever witnessed in this field, and you're not making any phone calls or meetings? Well, we're not meeting, uh, for example, the junior doctors on, because they demand... an extraordinary Secretary of State? Well, they, they demand a 35%, Nick, is not one the government can make. Then the tell Prime them Minister that on being the clear. phone or go see them. Well, we have, and we, we've discussed that previously. Uh, so, so that has been discussed. And the demand of 35% is not one the government can meet. What we've done is accept in full the recommendations of the, the independent pay review body process. So we've been clear as a government that the, the pay for this year has but, been settled through that pay process, uh, and that is final. Now, of course, uh, I've also been clear, Nick, throughout that my door's open. We're open to discussions. I meet with staff groups uh, on a regular basis around uh, many other issues that impact on the NHS that staff are concerned about. Uh, but it is not proportionate, given our commitment to bring an inflation down, uh, that we should be uh, uh, you know, uh, meeting a demand of 35%.